Hey everybody, this is Perch, and uh, I think this is a good news kind of thing, but I also think it talks a little bit about buying trends and, and what people are into, and and I think this story is, I think, one of the greatest examples of if people have money and they have time and, and they are looking to kind of spend it and do something with it, comic books are a viable form of media. You see people talking every now and then about, well, nobody's going to read comics anymore. They're going to go to, you know, Netflix and streaming services and online gaming and that kind of thing. And nobody, people are not interested in comics anymore, basically. And I think this story refutes it in a pretty major way. And it shows that the audience is there. So let's, let's get into the story and kind of dissect it for you because this story has also been linked by a bunch of people who are, who are not reading the fine print. Basically, they're not reading down into the actual article. They just stop. Now, maybe New York Times, some of this stuff is behind a paywall. I don't know. Maybe they're just, they read the headline, they're done. But basically, France is trying to get their younger population, the specifically here 18-year-olds, they're trying to get them to embrace the arts. What they're seeing and what led to this, because I've been tracking this story for a little while, it's an interesting one, is that the cultural aspects around town, books, music, but particularly things like the theater and uh, plays and, and that kind of stuff, are they're not the, the younger generation's not embracing them. They're finding that uh, revenue and tickets and, and people going to them are starting to decline. And so they're trying to say, how do we get people to go experience this? And they've tried with some advertising campaigns aimed at that audience, but they finally figured out the way, and see if this sounds familiar, by the way, the way to really get people into these things is to get them hooked on it. Basically give them a taste of what some of this cultural stuff can be, and they'll want to come back. They'll then, they'll then return. So they, they initiated this thing, 300 euros to every 18 year old in the country. And 300 euros is a significant amount of cash. I mean, that's, uh, I, I think it's, it was, I'm not sure the exact exchange rate. We'll try and look it up while I'm talking here, but, um, it, it's that, that 300 euros is a, it's a healthy amount of money. Um, you know, it's, it's probably the equivalent of about $340 probably. Uh, if you're, if you're talking about that in, in U S terms, let's see if I'm right here. $356. Not bad. Okay. $356, uh, to basically go spend on whatever you want as long as it's a cultural purpose. And that's defined as a book, music, exhibition, performance tickets, a theater, that kind of stuff. And the main thing they're trying to do here is that they're trying to uh, basically put this stuff out here so that uh, kids are not, you know, that age group is not just spending the money on specifically Netflix, streaming services, gaming. So they're trying to get out and experience some culture. So they do this and it's wildly successful in the sense that a lot of people immediately took advantage of the credit. They signed up, they went to go buy I mean, free money who, who wouldn't. And, uh, they went out and the headline is basically they went out to buy comic books. And that was kind of the, the biggest mass media that people went to. They went and they, they started buying comic books with it, but specifically not just any comic book. They went and bought manga. Uh, you know, and, and very specifically Japanese comics are making up two thirds of all the book, not just comic book, but book purchases via this culture pass app. They, uh, they're calling it a manga rush or a manga pass is kind of the slang of what this becomes. So as people are kind of chatting about how are they using their, their culture pass, it's been redubbed by the 18 year olds, the manga pass or the manga rush. And this is, uh, so it's not bringing people into theater, cinemas, and music festivals, by the way, um, is that a shock? Really? Uh, we, we are still kind of coming out, stumbling from the pandemic. People are unsure about how to get together in crowds. Maybe they want to, but they're, I mean, there's still a lot of strange restrictions and other things in place. Is anyone really shocked as an aside that, uh, these 18 year olds didn't immediately go out and, and start heading to cinemas and music festivals, which may or may not even been available and instead went for manga. I mean, I, I don't, to me, that's the least shocking part of this story. I, I, you know, what the, the world is not back to, to quote unquote normal just yet. Now it's worth noting manga is been popular in France, very popular in France. And I saw this stat and I didn't quite believe it. And it depends on how you look at the numbers, but manga is more popular in France than in the U S if you're looking by percentage of population. If you look at raw dollars, the, the U S is generating more dollars, but in terms of, of the percentage of the population, so it's, it's any stat can be 
kind of filter it any way you want. But manga, very, very popular in, in France. And so what happens is these 18-year-olds uh, who can spend this, um, you know, about $356 American, uh, US, 300 euros, um, and they can, they're basically buying as much manga as they can get. Um, in many cases, some of them are signing up for painting and drawing classes to learn how to make manga. That's the other kind of crazy part of this whole story is that uh, a bunch of people who are 18 are, are trying to become artists. And specifically, there's been this um, blossoming business in France. And, and I've heard in other countries, too, of teaching kids how teaching that generation how to actually make comics and not just comics, but specifically manga style comics. So it's 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 nuts. Anyway, um, it's a, it's a very interesting kind of development of all this piece now. Um, it, you know, this, this story is getting kind of passed around as look, uh, comic books are alive and well and healthy. And then, then yes, they are the broader group absolutely is, but it's just one more kind of indication that manga is doing something extremely, uh, right when it comes to marketing and hype and advertising and displaying their, their products. Um, you can't look at this stuff and say, well, you know, besides the content, because remember a lot of people make the argument, well, manga is becoming more popular because there's, there's not politics in it or, or any of that kind of stuff. But remember these people who are coming into manga, they have no idea. They, they haven't read the books. They're, they're coming into it as a blank slate. So the interesting thing is manga is advertising and promoting itself to this age group far more effectively than you know, US and European comics are. Manga is winning the battle in terms of basically marketing and promoting itself, getting people interested. The argument of people stick with manga because they like the storytelling or the well, any of that kind of politics, any of that kind of stuff, that that makes that can make sense for people who are already reading it and sticking with it. But the real kind of curiosity here, and the thing that people really have to wrap their heads around, is people are coming to it because they're out marketing, they're out selling, they're out promoting what manga is. And just step back for a moment, just contemplate how amazing is it that Japanese comics, manga, are able to penetrate markets like France and, and the US. But there's another stat out there that manga is growing fastest in the southern states of the US, not even the metropolitan areas. So Japanese, comic books, manga, are growing wildly successfully in places like Texas and Georgia and Mississippi. That's not when, when you know, just the stereotype of what kind of demographic is going to, to jump on this. It's probably not what you'd think. So manga is winning this battle of basically promoting itself to new readers in a way that the other creators of comic books are not. Why is that? I think that that's a very fascinating thing that's happening right there with that. But anyway, I thought it was an interesting story. 300 euro, buy whatever you want, go out and experience culture. And sure enough, people are buying manga with it. So pretty crazy. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it, it's, 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 it's pretty crazy. So, um, one other little aspect to this, somebody, um, uh, who is, I was talking about this little said, well, why, why didn't people buy video games? You technically in the rules of this uh, culture pass can buy video games. However, the game's publisher has to be French and the games cannot feature violence, which pretty much uh, nothing is available <laughs> at that point. You're down to, you're down to nothing. So it's, it's, it's an interesting, but bookstores in Paris are growing. Um, manga continues to expand and it's a, uh, I, it, I don't know. It's a little lesson. Give people money, say, go out and spend on whatever you want. They go to comics, they go to manga in France. Uh, it's it's uh, interesting. Anyway, let me know your thoughts uh, below. I, I think there's a major, major story here people miss, which is why, why are, why is manga able to pull in brand new readers very effective? Why are they able to do that so successfully? What are they doing differently? I, I think there's a lot of, a lot of answers we could give to that, but anyway, something to share with you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, like, and subscribe, and thanks for listening.